Hello, bear watchers. <laughs> I'm actually doing an intro on the day I need one this time. I think I kind of do that for Sundays, though, because the video goes up on Wednesday and I, you know, go to work a little bit later and <laughs> I'm at home eating my lunch. <laughs> yeah. It's a keto bread with, with um, banana <laughs> and peanut butter. But the, um, the keto bread is actually gluten too. So I don't know how good it is for me. Yeah, I had a headache on the verge of a migraine today and <laughs> my bangs look a little funny because I I overdid one of my eyebrows. <laughs> so so they're like bad sisters. They don't look alike <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got my coconut water. I don't think we're going to do a Monday measures this Monday because We've got leftovers that are going to go bad if I don't use them. So, so Monday measures is probably going to be a little bit different this week. We'll still do a Monday measures, but I think we're going to do um, a Costco haul and then, you know, show you maybe what we needed extra for, for the things that we're going to make this, this week or make this week. Um, you know, because we have, carrots we need to use and then I still have the sun-dried sun tomatoes I need to use and um, the miso paste and that miso paste I was looking at the recipes for miso soup and I didn't realize it takes a special broth um, I thought the paste itself makes the broth but apparently there's a, a seasoned broth that you use for the miso soup. So I'm gonna go to probably the best place would be the Oriental Market where where um, uh, Heather gets all of her, you know, little snack things. So I'll, I'll go check that out. And if there's another market that we haven't been to in a long time, and the girls mentioned it, it's, um, it's in below our bowling alley <laughs> in town and it's a, another um i forget the name of it but you know it says oriental market on the sign too so yeah we'll probably do that i don't know what the temperature is out there today my thermometer actually says 45 and it's still got the snow behind it so it's nice and bright and sunny it's been pretty cloudy the last couple days so i'm glad to see the sun back again and uh yeah we'll just get through the rest of the week i've got a a special event thing tomorrow with some friends so i don't know if we'll actually do any video tomorrow i'm i used to sell arbon i don't know if any of you are familiar with arbon but i'm gonna get back into selling it because of the health benefits and I just haven't been feeling healthy. It's been three weeks and I haven't really lost any weight. And, you know, I don't think I haven't been on the scale in a week because I was getting disgusted. <laughs> I lost maybe three pounds the first two weeks and I don't know. We'll see. So, and I'm retaining water. You know, that's a an old person thing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta eat my lunch. <laughs> I'll get you to the video. Bye for now. The sun is hitting my car. Look at that. <laughs> it's not the actual temperature. But it's sitting in the parking lot and that's what it says on the outside, my temperature on the car. I don't wonder what the inside is like, but it's hot in here. Ugh.
<laughs> Good, nice to meet you. Hello, hello. What's it going on, Yijimaida? <laughs> it looks like the dinosaur ate you. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. He's so cute. Are you nice and warm? <laughs>
that's probably the only time you'll see that because <laughs> because we just clean them and we don't have the dogs in the car but we're at Costco getting fuel oh what is it it's 437 a gallon and Mary's pumping it again so oh boy oh my gosh what a day <laughs> uh, it's just one thing after another after another it's busy 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 yeah well I got up kind of late and um, got ready kind of late but that worked out because mom had some things she had to take care of yeah before we started it going out and about I had a whole list of you know, I'm trying to apply for some financial assistance for um, COVID stuff so I had to go to my bank and get things. And, <laughs> yeah, and they close and they close at two. But I thought they were open inside until two, but they weren't. They were it was a drive through. Thankfully, I drove up and the and the lady's like, Sherry, right? And I was like, Oh my gosh, I don't come I come here like once a month, you know? <laughs> and she knows my name. Probably because we have cute doggies and yeah. she likes giving them treats. Every time <laughs> she we gives go. the dogs treats, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That would be, I, um, there's people who come in pretty frequently, but I guess not super frequently to my office, and, um, I'm, like, the receptionist, so I take care of people first, and, yeah, when they come to, like, pick up stuff from our office, I, I know exactly who they are, I'm like, oh, let me get your paperwork, I know exactly yes, which one's I first. I am horrible with me, I don't remember people's names. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, and then I went to get the car washed, which is now all dirty again because of all the puddles. But, you know, at least I got some of the guck off. And then I cleaned the inside windows so we could see. Yeah. Because we're going to Nanana. We're taking a road trip. Did you notice they're not all dog nose smudgy? Yeah. <laughs> well, look behind my head here is where it's visible. <laughs> so. Keepy's strapped into his dog harness because lately he's been jumping around the car. So we're trying that out. <laughs> So Nanana is about the halfway point to Denali. It's about an hour away. And you know this time of year we go to Denali or um, to Nanana because of the tripod. Yeah. So the <laughs> I was talking to a coworker about that because in the pictures it's got four legs. We were like, wait, a tripod has three legs. So I was like, then would it be a quadrupod? <laughs> But then mom said, technically it's, it has seven legs. Yeah, because it's got the tripod. They used to have just the tripod three legs in the middle, but then they realized it wasn't sturdy enough. So then they put this whole big to-do around the rest of it. Yeah, so then so. technically I guess it's like a seven, seven legs, a septipod. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Motorcycles are out. The roads are at least decent enough for motorcycles. Most of the main roads are all dry. Um, I've heard horror stories from people that have to try to get to some of the back roads. You know, they get stuck all the time. Yeah, our drivers um, where I work don't like when they have to go out to like the weird back roads. Because most of the time we all stay in town. So. Like I said, I don't leave town um, all winter unless I fly. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like pulling a leg to get me to go to North Pole, which is 20 miles away. Although, like, back in the beginning of March, uh, my older sister went on just, like, a little weekend road trip. She, like, needed to just take a weekend to herself, so she drove all the way to Anchorage and back, and she was like, yeah, it was clear the whole way, so. Yeah, and it usually is. And last year, when we went to go see the tripod, we actually went to Denali. So we did go all the way to Denali and come back. Yeah, sometimes we do that. We'll get to Nanana and Mom will be like, well, you want to go <laughs> go further? It's like, hey, okay. how much further? Anchorage? <laughs> um, I think he's loose again. Uh, did you get stuck? I can't see what's happening. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> and we actually have a seatbelt system for for Kip because he gets kind of crazy in the car. Yeah. And, uh, I think I need to tighten it so it's <laughs> around his shoulders and because I think his one leg can kind of slip out at this point. Oh, that looks 
looks like it's still on, I'm okay, but I'll have to like tighten it if it's not going to work. So hold of me I've tried shutting you off for some time now But I'm still hearing your voice in my head Oh, I wish I was more than your fan now And that your voice came from here in my bed You're in my headphones, baby In my headphones, baby In my headphones, singing to me
voice came from here in my bed You're in my headphones, baby In my headphones, baby In my headphones, singing to me You're in my headphones, baby Did it trip it? Um. Oh, crazy! <laughs> it's like kind of behind the pole, but you could see that. Did it trip it? <laughs> that would be ironic <laughs> to just pull up here right in time to see it fall. Does it have to fully fall, or it just has to? No, break it through? just has to trip the the wire. Oh. Just as long as it pulls enough to trip the wire. The guy went over to look at the clock. Oh, they're watching it, man. Yeah. Can we see it? Did you see it in the Yeah, thing? it's right there. Okay, I can't see. I moved it so you can see. When we, yeah. when we drove over. That's crazy. But remember last year, it kind of fell like that, and it didn't trip the wire. Oh. And then it kind of went down because it was leaning this way. It kind of went down river, and it took a long time for it to actually trip the wire. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean the wire still, I don't know, probably has something on the top there. It's got to be oh. really yanking it. That's crazy. Yeah. To see that as soon as we pulled up. Someone else just You interrupt me and I interrupt you, a shame. When did we start losing and stop giving? I remember I gave it time, 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 all of my time, time, time. Now my mind, mind's lost in its thoughts. I want you, 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 want only you, you, you. But my heart's all tied up in knots. Wanna release it. Because remember, we were here last year when it it fell over and started going down river. Really? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was the year before. No, I could swear it was last year. I mean, those are, it's really warm today and things are very melty. And it's windy, so it's pushing the ice. So I just looked it up and 79 of the breakups out of the 107 that have been recorded were actually on April 30th or before. So here's the leads. And they go up to the clock tower and that will actually sound off a horn. and then it trips this clock. Mm -hmm. 
and it will actually stop the clock. Let's see if I can get me out of the picture there. See that? Here you go. It's still running. And the horn didn't blow. <laughs> so, yeah, it has to take a while. People are gathering down here. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement We both saw in two Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have Burger spot. Still the best burgers in Alaska. Monderosa. There we are. It already smells so good. Mom's gonna go get us some burgers and fries. They are amazing. Oh, you see that? See that? <laughs> It's a mosquito. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in what could have been? Behind us. Oh, I said it'll be there till July. 
we took the dogs on a ride and they're dirty again. Yeah, they're a little smudgy again. We just need to. The back window's not. Fix it up. I like that. Yeah. Back window's nice and clean. <laughs> so all the ice broke loose and I saw it floating down the river today. And look how high the river is. Amazing how quick that happens. I was hoping to get some of it floating down the river, but yeah, that happens fast. I see some of it sticking on the sides. It's crazy when it all breaks loose at once and you can actually get on these bridges and you can feel it hit the bridges. Then sometimes it'll create ice jams. Pretty crazy. Rivers are pretty phenomenal. Ah, oh, it's been a week. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I had all these notes here and I put my little stand on my nose. <laughs> See, it's been that kind of a week. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had so much going on and I haven't slept at all all week. Just my mind is going 100 miles an hour, anxiety and everything else. Um, I became an Arbonne representative at the last minute <laughs> again. <laughs> and so... I had to have a party and close it within 48 hours and <laughs> it was a big ordeal. So I don't know, some of you might know what Arbon is, probably a lot of you don't. It's worldwide, so, so if you have any questions about it, let me know. But anyways, the whole video, most of it was about the tripod and that was crazy that we pulled up there and it just tipped over right oh as we God. pulled up. Like, yeah. I can't believe that that happened. Really but, but, you know, I sometimes it doesn't take much to ring the, you know, the the siren, the horn. But other times it it, you know, it'll creep down the river and it'll go quite a ways before it actually sounds the the horn and stops the clock. I feel but like at the rate that everything's melting, it's going to rain it's, pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're updating. There's two different people down there. And then, well, there's three because there's somebody else doing drone shots. Oh. So so they're updating constantly on the Nanana uh, Facebook fan page. So, and I was talking to a lady. I don't know if she she was from Palmer or something, but she's actually been tracking the tripod this year for the fan page. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you some of these. Um, the, the tripod. Now, this is why it was exciting today, because 79 of the breakups out of the 107 that have occurred already are on or before... Um, April 30th. <laughs> so today was April 30th. So if it still goes out before midnight, oh. then it will be the 80th, you know, time that it went oh, out on April cool. 30th or before. So, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. Well, I don't know. I just checked the fan page and it's like 15 minutes before midnight. So. What, really? What? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mary. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, and I haven't even started editing the vlog for the morning yet. You know, it's Saturday night and the vlog goes up in, you know, a few hours. <laughs> so so this has been my week. It's insane. So um <laughs> they wanted to thank people because every year people guess times on April thirty first. And there is no April 31st, oh. <laughs> so so it's just considered a donation because at that point, you you know, 
it's a fictitious date, so it doesn't count. You you aren't going to win anything, but you've donated your money. So <laughs> um, they take the ice measurements until it's not safe anymore. So the last ice measurement they took was April 21st, and it was uh, 29.9 inches deep. You know, so um, just a little bit over two feet. And um, every year they build a new tripod. So it floats down the river and if somebody finds it, they can keep it. <laughs> I, they, they, show, um, they show pictures of people using them in their gardens and stuff. <laughs> You know? oh. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, because they can't reuse it. They usually end up broken, you know, by the time they float down the river. Um, they're 26 feet tall, yeah, <laughs> and tall. They're, they're made out of logs. They're made out of trees, so they're very, very heavy. So it's a big ordeal to get them out on the ice. Um, and then it has to be all set up, and, you know, they've got this whole engineering thing that they do to get all those wires set up on that stop clock and the the sirens and stuff um the bets were started in 1917 by a group of engineers for the alaska railroad and it's turned into a fundraiser now for the city so yeah just some little tidbit tidbits and and you know it's kind of cool because we used to bet on it all the time. Well, I used to bet on it all the time. And um, the last few years, we've go actually gone down there to watch it, and we've caught it going down downriver. Um, we've never heard the siren go off. We haven't stayed that long. But um, this, the last three years are the only years that I haven't bet on it <laughs> since oh, I've been here. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why I don't bet. <laughs> But, yeah, and I'm, it doesn't cost, I think it's only a couple dollars or something. It's not that much. And anybody around the world can bet. Um, so, so it's really fun. And like I said, it's a fundraiser for the city. I don't know how much they, they make a year. Um, you, they, it's like a 50-50. So 50% 50 of whatever they make the, is, goes to the winner. And one year, I think they had eight people that guessed the same time. So there was a lot of, of people that guessed the same time. So that gives you an idea of how many people actually bet. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, the winning pot is, a, you know, around $200,000. Are you looking it up? This year's jackpot, oh, it went way up because the... Uh, at the beginning of the week, it was like one hundred and twenty-three thousand. It's now two hundred and forty-two thousand nine hundred and twenty-three. Yeah, yeah. So a quarter. Oh, tripod picture taken April thirtieth. <laughs> it's so it's a picture of exactly what we saw. And we saw, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got pictures, already. or you've seen the pictures already, because <laughs> this is the end of the vlog. Yeah, it says hmm. buy a ticket for two dollars and fifty cents. Two dollars and fifty cents. There you go. So, yeah, so that's how many, you know, hundred, hundreds of thousands, a couple hundred thousand, or a hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, people are down there excited. So, <laughs> we were excited. <laughs> so, and then we, we got Monterosa burgers on the way back. We were only going to get one and have them cut it in half. So that way, um, you know, Mary and I could split it since I'm trying to diet. <laughs> and, um... And we, when I opened up the door to the car in the parking lot, I was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. So we ended up getting two. But I, I, I still only ate half of mine. I, I gave the other half to Life Was Here. I gave that half to him. And, um, and then Mary, you didn't even eat half of yours either, did you? I have half in the fridge. Yeah, she saved I'll half for in the fridge. So, Yeah. <laughs> And that's why my diet was off this week. Um, yeah. Actually, for the Monday measures tomorrow, uh, we've got a small Costco haul and a small um, Fred Meyer haul. And we're going to do leftovers um, because I have things that I need to use that were left over from the other recipes that we had. So 
I'm going to cook all that stuff up tomorrow and then put that up for um, the Monday measures and that'll be our meal plan for the week. Yeah. So this week I was off with the meal plan just because I had so much going on. And, you know, if I had like some good grab and go stuff here, it would have been good. But, we, <sighs> oh my gosh. We also had like unexpected guests and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Just a weird week in general. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's been busy, busy, <laughs> you know. And, um, you know, so the Costco haul, some of the things we got, well, and some of the things we got at Fred's too are things that we're supplementing, um, you know, like we've been eating yogurts for breakfast or egg bites or, you know, and snack things besides our, our lunch and dinner meals. So, yeah. And and then the reason why I started the Arbonne again as, you know, a sales representative was because I'm going to be doing their diet plan. Because after three weeks of, um, you know, clean eating, I usually lose about 10 pounds. And I haven't lost anything. So that's kind of scary to me. And then I've still got inflammation going on. I mean, it didn't hurt. Um, this week it hurt because I, you know, added gluten because I was grabbing things from um, restaurants and, you know, hamburgers. <laughs> but, um, see, the Arbonne stuff is grab and go. I can you know, make a shake, a protein shake, and or you know, a fizzy drink or, you know, I, there's things I can grab quick without yeah. eating, and you know. And then it looks all like boring, like, oh, this is just protein powder and fizzy drink mix. And it's like, how good is it going to taste? But like the community, there's, there's a lot of Arbon people in Fairbanks and they <laughs> all is. provide each other with lots of different recipes. There, and Yeah. And yeah. And you can make all kinds of, you know, like little energy bites and brownie bites and yeah because you know. we've done it in the past and mm -hmm. and it's funny because at the time mom had uh made a post about like oh we're gonna try out this thing and she had some like strange friends at the time who were like oh my gosh why are you putting your like whole family on a diet your daughters are gonna hate you and i was like but it, part of this was like my idea <laughs> i was like i agreed to it and i was yeah. like i was like let's try it mom and, and we were doing really really great yeah, and you know, I lose a lot of weight every time, and I feel good, and so you know, just, yeah, it's all healthy. It's plan. yeah, it's a reset, <laughs> you know, and I gotta stick to it. I mean, my health—I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> so, okay, enough about all that stuff. Was there anything else we need to talk about? Uh... Heather's Heather's in Anchorage. Yeah, she went. Can. She went to the Comic-Con, so if you see this on Sunday morning and you're in Anchorage, go to the Comic-Con, yeah. <laughs> and you can visit Heather there. Yep. She's at the Sipping Streams booth. So, yeah, or if you're near there, go. <laughs> so I know we got a lot of Alaskan people on here now that are watching. Yeah. So, all right, I guess that's enough jabbering because it's getting long. <laughs> yeah, Mary's going to keep me company while I spend the next, i probably be up until four in the morning. <laughs> good thing Saturday. And editing the vlog. <laughs> All right. Good night. <laughs> See you tomorrow for Monday Measures. <laughs>